Welcome back to CNN's Ballot Ball. I'm Dana Bash in Charleston, Car uh, South Carolina, where the polls for the Republican primary close in about 45 minutes. And one of the many things that we are going to be looking for in tonight's results is how does former Tennessee Senator Fred Thompson fare? He is somebody who has, uh, especially in the past couple of weeks, put all of his eggs in South Carolina's basket, made it very, very clear in his actions uh, and pretty much his words that uh, he has a lot riding on coming coming back in the state of South Carolina after having pr really poor showing in, in all of the other early contest states. Uh, so let's take a listen to what Fred Thompson is trying to tell voters to get them out to the polls for him. Some say the Reagan coalition is dead. They think it was nothing more than a wonderful personality and one man and he's gone, it's gone. I reject that, my friends, because that coalition was based upon more than one man, as great as he was. It was based right. upon the fundamental principles that made this country great, what it was based upon. <clears throat> Our founding fathers got together and put in the form of documents the wisdom of the ages. They were students of scripture and they were students of history. They knew that there was such a thing as human nature, both the good part of it and the bad part of it. And they formed a government with those basic understandings of things that do not change in a changing world. The notion that a government big enough and powerful enough to give anything to you is big enough and powerful enough to take anything away from you. And that was not the direction that we were going to go in. That you've got to be careful about putting too much power in too few hands, even when they're saying they're going to do wonderful things for you. That's not the direction that we were going in this country. The reason we got checks and balances is the separation of powers and states' rights, the Tenth Amendment. It's not found in the Constitution as belonging to the purview of the federal government. It belongs to the states and the people. That's our system in which we built everything else in this country. We built the, <clears throat> built the rule of law, market economies. Free people doing free things, not being afraid to trade with their neighbors, not taxing and spending our, our citizens into oblivion and, and sucking the very things that make us Americans out of us. Allowing a country boy in Tennessee or a country girl from South Carolina to grow up in a, in a country where they know that if they obey the rules, that they have a pretty doggone good chance of living the American dream. That's the kind of country I grew up in and you grew up in, and I think that's still the kind of country we live in today. And those are the principles that we need to hold fast to. As a party, when we've strayed, we have paid. It's not because we've adhered to those principles that we have in trouble, just the opposite. When we've gotten away from them, we've gotten in trouble. Runaway spending and spending the money that we don't have and passing it on to future generations and barring against our grandkids, that goes against what we stand for. And to the extent we become a part of that, we, were jer we, we deserve the rejection of the American people. We just need to ride our ship and get back on the wrong, on the, on the, on the right course, on the right course. What do these principles mean in today's terms? Well, one of the principles has to do with putting our national security above all else. If we don't have the security of our own people, we don't have anything else. <laughs> Because where I stand does not depend on where I'm standing or what particular office that I'm running for. I mean, I know who I am and I know what I believe. And I believe that our better days are ahead of us if we do what we're supposed to do as Americans and as citizens. We live in the greatest nation in the world because of many reasons. One of them is the fact that we've sacrificed more blood for the freedom of other people around the world than all the other countries put together. And we have a proud tradition of honor and sacrifice for the greater good in this nation. Those are the giant shoulders that we're standing on uh, today. We need to continue and protect that tradition of honor and sacrifice for the greater good. Our party has been called upon by the American people from time to time to do that. And we've served them valiantly. I think that they're wanting to do that again if we will stand for what we should stand for. I don't think the American people have changed their mind about basic values since, two, since 1980s or since uh, uh, the 1990s when they sent us to take over the House and the Senate. I think the American people need to understand that we haven't changed our values and our commitments either. 
And that's what this campaign is all about. That's why I'm running for presidency of the United States. That's why I need your help. And that's why we're going to win on Saturday night. Thank you. Former Tennessee Senator Fred Thompson predicting victory in a speech last night, predicting victory in a primary that is going on right now. Polls are almost uh, closed here in South Carolina, the Republican primary.